Welcome to String and Story. My name is Holly Ann Knight, and it is my job to guide you to quote with confidence. Today, I am joined by Marcy, who works here in the shop. Um, and we are folding so very many yards and yards and yards and yards and yards and yards and yards of fabric for you. <laughs> Over here on the edge behind me here, you can see our block of the month, the endangered species block of the month, which we're in the process of kicking off right now. Um, and we have been absolutely blown away by how many of y'all have already jumped in with us with the thread subscription and the patterns and how many of y'all have also ordered kits. So that's what we're working on today. Uh, but Marcy just asked me a very interesting question right before we went live, and I was like, wait, we should talk about that on YouTube. So if you are here, real quick before we jump into that, um, say hi in the chat so we can greet you. Hey, Jen. Um, there are some links in the caption of this video. I've got a link to the Endangered Species Block of the Month. Um, I've got a link to some blogs that I've written here recently. I did an English paper piecing versus foundation paper piecing blog. Um, <laughs> I also did, um, what was it? oh, I did a product review this week of the Daylight Wafer, which is the light box that I recommend for foundation paper piecing. Um, and then, of course, there's the intro to foundation paper piecing that we went over a few weeks ago together. So I've included a link down to that. Um, what else is in there? Mm, we're hiring. I included a link there. And I hope I included a link to the shop. I think you did. Hopefully. I remember reading it. Oh, good. Excellent. So it's not hopefully. <laughs> we can yeah, we can, we can do that too. So uh, check all that out. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube because it's going to make it easier for you to find me every Thursday when I'm here live chatting with y'all and make it easier to find anytime I put up new tutorials to go along with some of those blogs. All right. Let's see. Ah, oh, Pat, I love that I popped up. Susan, Christina, good morning. Now, Marcy, what was the question that you asked me that I interrupted you? Okay, so we're live. We were, we were just talking about like favorite meal of the day. And then what did that include? Yeah. So I, I don't know what it's yeah. one o'clock and we're already thinking food, but food I'm is one of my thinking food. favorite topics. To <laughs> I love about. food. <laughs> um, I love to bake, I love to cook. So um, what's y'all's favorite meal of the day? And what does that favorite meal include? Yes. So I said breakfast. I live for breakfast. I go to sleep thinking about breakfast. I wake up thinking about breakfast. The only thing that gets me out of bed in the morning is breakfast. But more specifically, bagels and coffee. So <laughs> not you, any breakfast. Have you found like the best bagels in this area? Um, the best, the best and closest Asiago cheese bagel. That's my kryptonite. Asiago cheese bagel um, is literally right across the Bagel 101. <gasps> yes. Their okay. service is garbage, but their bagels are perfect. Yes. The, well, the um, and how they bake them too, because mm -hmm. I went over there one day and I was mm -hmm. like, investigate. Because yeah. I I love breakfast as well. And is that your favorite meal? It is. I okay. can eat it any time of the day. Yeah, I do quite yes. often. Yes. Um. So I was like, bagels, good bagels. Hold on. So yeah. I went over there, and so they have a window. And they have the big, big mixer. mixer. They have the big mixer where they actually make them there, mm -hmm. where they do the water bath, and then they bake them. And so um, I was I was very excited to see that. And I was like, ooh, what time do I have to be here to actually see them doing this? Because I yeah. would love to see how they actually How do that them. actually works. Yeah. Um, so I am a huge breakfast fan. Like, love it. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of these, but we always used to have them growing up. Uh -huh. And they were like a piece of bread uh -huh. in a frying pan with an egg crack in the center. Yes, and we call them tags. <laughs> Okay, so we call them toad in the holes. And like, <laughs> okay, yeah, that, I like that. <laughs> yes. Um. So like, I've heard they've had so many things. Yeah. So um, slice of cheese and strawberry jam. Ooh, on top of the mm -hmm. egg and everything. Yes. Oh. Okay. This is one of the things I miss most about discovering my egg allergy. Oh. So I'm allergic to eggs. If y'all don't know that, um, which it's funny because, like, it's. It's like a stomach inflammation kind of allergy. Like I'm not like I can get the nasal spray stuff at the doctor. Like all of that's fine. So for years I had no idea. But I like one of the reasons I went vegetarian for 11 months was trying to deal with like bloat and stomach pain that I was having. Oh. And I was like, if I clean up my diet and I'm eating all like whole food fruits and veggies and stuff, like it'll be fine, right? And it wasn't fine. Like it was opposite of fine. And then I took an allergy test. And they were like, you're totally fine, except for eggs. Like, don't get anywhere near those. And I was like, that does explain a few things about, and I, 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 I haven't had any problems. 
Well, it also brings up the fact that breakfast is your favorite meal. Yes. Right? And like and eggs no over eggs. easy, avocado toast, oh. tags. Yeah, mm. it's devastating. It's absolutely devastating. I once in a while I kind of say F it and do it anyway. <laughs> Um, because mayonnaise does it too, so like certain sandwiches and stuff, and like dressings, I have to stay away from. And once in a while, I'm like, I don't care. I will just hurt tonight. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. But yeah, but fortunately, like in baked goods, or like if they do like a wash on the bagels, like that doesn't tend to really bother me. So okay, so cook, yeah, cook that like, in baked like items, yeah, where it's like a minimal amount gotcha. that's actually getting into me is fine. But yeah, so it's very it's devastating. That is. Because I love That was our favorite, like, nighttime snack. Oh, breakfast That's, for dinner. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Quick, easy, and, like, Head of protein, like, head of carbs. Yeah. Yes. All the deliciousness mm -hmm. that that involves. Actually, so. before I plug this in, let me see what everyone's favorite. Let's see. Who, let's see. Good morning, Marie. Pat's, like, all the meals. I want all the meals. <laughs> I love that. Hello, Janet and Chattanooga. I think we're coming up to Chattanooga for spring break. Uh, Susan says, I don't have a favorite meal, but I have homemade chicken pot pie heading up right now. Heating up. Oh, my God. That gosh. sounds so good. Oh, my gosh. Crave had pot pies yesterday when I was in there. Ooh. How did you I get didn't one? get one because oh, I was okay. like, I don't have a way to heat it up right now. Okay. But I was like, that sounds good. Yes. Um, Pat, we are in Duluth, Georgia. So about 25 miles northeast of Atlanta. And welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right, so what's all your favorite meals? All right. Pardon the loud noise. Large Marge is an absolute necessity today. Yes, all the day. <laughs> Though, if you were live with me yesterday in the Quilting Rockstars Facebook group, I told Marcy about that cutting kiosk we were talking <laughs> about. I'm so excited. I can't. I know. Like jaw dropping when you showed me that. I was like, this is gonna be incredible. We're very excited that we're gonna be improving the processes of Trigger Story in the near future. <laughs> we will still have to break out large. Oh yeah. Well, so she doesn't feel still, like yeah. she is being neglected. Large Marge will still be really great for like all kinds of things. Well, yeah, I was thinking March March needs like a Team Rockstar sticker oh or my something God. like yes. that because she is such a big part of March on her. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of awesome. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, what I missed with the comments. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where did we stop? Where are you guys? Right at? Pat. Yeah, Pat. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, Austria. Good morning, <laughs> winky eyes, Mertz. Um, good morning, Mitzi. Mitzi. Oh, excuse me. I, yeah. Um, all the meals, says uh, Susan. Yeah. Ooh, Jackie says tacos. Shepherd's pie. Ooh, oh, shepherd's yeah. pie. Um, and she's like, um, teriyaki chicken. And oh, then, I love teriyaki chicken. Yes. And then Barb says, good morning from Central Ohio. Oh, my goodness. How's the weather in Central Ohio right now? <laughs> cold, cold, cold. Cold, cold, cold. Yes. It's getting cold here this weekend. Yes, it has been. Ugh. I know. Which warm weather or cold weather craps. Like, let's just, like, snuggle down and so... So, so, and so. Meanwhile, it's a long weekend, and you're like, let's so, and I'm like, let's go camping! <laughs> John this morning was like, oh, the weather's like this this weekend, camping will be really nice, and then he pulled up the weather for this weekend, and he was like, oh, oh yeah. The overnight lows are below freezing, so it's nice for us. Oh. He's like, holy at night. I'm like, in my defense, I keep planning these trips, and the weather says it's not going to do that, and then the weather changes. Yes. And he's like, if it gets any lower, we're not going. And I'm like, but we got fishing poles, but we got inflatable kayaks. Oh yeah, John got inflatable kayaks on Amazon. Oh yeah, no, they're incredible. Yeah, okay, good, I'm glad to hear that. Cause I was looking at like nice kayaks and I'm like, these are gonna break the bank. Like, we're not gonna do this. And then John caught me the other one and he's like, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna surprise Jim with a kayak. And I was like, Jim will absolutely like poo his pants with joy. That, no, inflatable kayaks, if you, like kayaking mm -hmm. and I live pretty close to the Chattahoochee River so it's like maybe a 10 minute drive oh, nice. to just drop into the Chattahoochee. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, we can go to Rogers Bridge and drop in here. Yeah, you're yeah. not far from yeah. here either. Um, but like having an inflatable kayak or just a kayak, uh-huh. the storage of those things, like you have to have exactly whole, like, one bay of the garage yeah. just to like take care of them. Yeah, and, like, have I was them like, we're gonna have to wait until we're like in a house with more space. To yes, just kayak. I'm like, what the? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we found the inflatable kayaks, <sighs> and they are worth it. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad um, to hear that. We got Havana a life jacket. She's going to be very mad at me. She oh. She's 60% beagle and she hates water. Does she really? Hates it. Um, hates it. And if, when I get in it, she sits with her like toes as close to the edge as she can get without her feet actually getting wet and cries the entire time oh. I'm in the water. She oh. hates it. She's a great swimmer. Like I literally have like taken her out in her little harness when we're like out hiking and stuff. And she can swim like nobody's business. She's a great swimmer. She just hates it. So it's the whole open water and no shore nearby that I can escape to situation, right? I mean, but this is even like if we're like on a creek. Like she oh. won't, she won't play in water. She won't if we are crossing and something and she can jump it. She will jump it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, she doesn't want to be wet. <laughs> and I'm like, you're a freaking diva. Yes. Um, wink eyes are what you call toad in the hole. Oh my gosh, Mitzi, I love that. Mexican food. Yes, Marie, it's 14 degrees. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm really glad all of y'all are co-signing the uh, inflatable kayaks. This makes me so happy. Yes. Yeah, they so, arrived like today. So did wait. you get two-seater, one-seater? Yeah, we got one two-seaters. Two okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. And then that way you'll be able to have both the boys to maybe yeah. and have enough space yes. in those things too. Well, and John was doing the math on it because he was like, we rent kayaks every one to two to three months. And he was like, there are hundreds, 150 bucks for a double kayak. He was like, if we save having to rent kayaks just two times, yeah. then we've made our money back. And I'm like, I mean, that's true. It's worth it. Like, yes. Yeah. And, and we're, we have a camping trip um, planned for later this year, uh, Memorial Day weekend, we're going down to Savannah and like mm-hmm. gonna go kayak in all the little like bayou areas back there. Oh, nice. And he was like, we're there for three days. Like we don't wanna have to pay day rental fees three times. I'm like, that's a great point. Yeah. No, and what? Sign me up. That'll be fun. So are y'all mm-hmm. gonna stay close to like bayou areas? Or are you gonna yeah, stay we're, like, camp- in- we're camping in one of the like coastal state parks. <gasps> yeah. Fun. I think it's for McAllister maybe. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's where the planet is. So you're traveling around to all the Georgia state all the Georgia parks state parks this year. Yeah, yeah that's okay. the goal. I don't know. I don't actually know if we'll get all the Georgia state parks done this year, um, but that's the like unofficial goal. I think the official goal I put down was like half or something. But we're tackling like one to two a weekend, and there's like sixty yeah. something. So yeah. yeah. And so are most of the state parks around here free to go and visit or it's is it five dollars like for parking usually, but yeah. we just went ahead and got the like wilderness or the like pass or whatever. And yeah. it was like 150 bucks for the maybe not even that much. Because we got two pass. I think if you just got the single car pass, it's like under a hundred. And you get in free for a year, you get 10% off of everything, you get discounts on all your like camping and everything. Okay. Yeah. And, we were, and then you don't have to like scrounge up a five dollar bill to shove in the envelope to put in the thing in because that was half our problem. Is we were like, we don't carry five dollar bills. Yeah. Like, well, and there's so many of those kiosks that have gone. Yeah. Some of them are broken. Some of them don't have envelopes. Exactly. So, so we just, just put our thing up in the window yeah, and well, carry on. It's all the app now. Go on the website. Yeah. Buy the but then there's no the cell service. Apps, and then there's no cell service. So we're yeah, like, Lord have, have mercy. I get it. Yeah. So we just bug pass. It's very easy. Yes. So some of the state parks are actually really nice. They're so and cool. They're really neat. I mean, don't get me wrong. National parks are really cool. They yeah, their place too. But state parks in different areas, mm-hmm. you get some really cool vibes from yeah. those and like cool areas that you just normally don't see. Um, and getting to like so. explore all the geography of like Georgia. Yes. And it's all with the exception of like some of the very southernmost parks. We can do all of them in a day trip. It might be a yeah. long day, but the ones that there are a few that are like five hours away in South Georgia. And those are ones that it's going to have to be like a weekend trip. But most of them, like we just, we've blocked off Sundays. And every Sunday, we get up at like the butt crack of dawn and we go and we hike. 
And it's right. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's see. Wink eyes. Hey, hey. Uh, Austin loves her inflatable kayak. And Marie's like, yeah, this is sewing weather. I know. I think John wishes that I would just sit still and sew this weekend. <laughs> Chances of that are real low because inflatable kayak. Yes. Layers. <laughs> layers and layers and layers. Yep. Um, if you're a kid, like I have that. wool long underwear. I will be fine. <laughs> yeah. Everybody in the family at that point in that time needs some wool long yeah. underwear. Yeah. Please don't. I wonder if we could stop at an REI and get them some. John does. Because we went yes. to Iceland a few years back. And so we like spent bukus of money on all the undergarments. <laughs> well, yes. Because you need to layer and layer some more. Yeah. When you're in that kind of weather. 14 yeah. degree weather. I'm sorry. Right. That's so, so cold, cold Marie. Yeah. My goodness. Yes. Layers is something you learn. Yes. So. Okay, so speaking state park. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever heard of this state park. It's in um, upper Minnesota area, but you can actually walk across the Mississippi River. Yes. And also, this state park, it has the Mississippi River that runs north. Oh, yeah, I have heard about that. Okay. That's incredible. It is really fun. Like right now, I'm sure it's way too cold to do anything outside it's all there. Frozen. It is all frozen. Um, the tundra. But yeah. like summertime, I'm thinking it would be amazing. Oh, it would be amazing to go there because, in all honesty, it's like Georgia fall weather. Yeah. In summer. Yeah. So just absolutely gorgeous, like 70 degree weather. Yeah. Um, you might get into the 80s. I think you're gonna have, have, have to plan the trip, RC. I know. I need to. I'm sure you have to England this summer, so. Oh, oh other dates yeah. we need to talk about. Yes, yes. <laughs> right? Sorry, I should not have them too. But yeah, we're good. No, yeah, we'll figure that. <laughs> All shall be well. Yes. All shall be well. Yeah, UK so, rock stars. Um, I'm hoping that we can schedule a meetup while I'm there. I've decided that the week that I'm in London is the week that I'm going to be social. And then once we head to Oxford and the lakes, that's going to be family time. So I'm excited. So if the Oxfordshire MQG has a meeting while I'm there, I'm going because that MQG is awesome. <laughs> Already, I know, I know at least one rock star is in that guild. Are you here? Yeah, I know we have at least one. Might be a little yeah. scant on this there one. There was one that was out, it was the end of the bolt. And yeah. I was like, I think this is going to come out scant. I hope we catch it. Yep. yep. I caught it. Look at you. We don't want you to have any of that scantness. No scant stuff. Yeah, that can go in the box for the grab bags. Oh, oh we yes. should make those grab bags today if we have time. Yes. Okay, so if you were with us yesterday, um, let's see. Uh, Ita Saka State Park in Minnesota. There you go. There's the state park that you were referencing. Let's see, new. Yes. Wealth of information. Um, if you were live with me yesterday in the Quilting Rockstars, we were talking a lot about QuiltCon, and I asked you a lot of questions. So to update you on some of that, um, I will be doing two demos on the demo stage. Um, one of them is going to be an intro to foundation paper piecing. So very, 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 very condensed version of Bandcamp. Um, and then the other one I'm going to do is I'm going to do an intro to quilting with rulers um, because those are two things that are not, you know, otherwise tied up in my QuiltCon contracts and topics that I don't, you know, get to teach quite as much. So um, y'all have all had access to those things via courses and band camps and things that we've done here recently. But if you know folks who are going to be at QuiltCon um, that may be interested in that, make sure to have them check the demo schedule because those demos are totally free. Um, you can just wander up and watch, um, and I will have free workbook downloads and things available. So that's going to be awesome. Um, then we talked about um, stuff for the booth. We are going to do fat quarter bundles and one yard bundles um, is the current plan. And then we are going to do, I asked about this yesterday as well. We're going to do um, grab bags, and they will be clear bags so you can see. Uh, the colors and stuff that's in them, um, but they will be like two pound grab bags and they'll be priced according to that. So, what's up? Wanted okay. to give y'all an update. Thank you for all your help yesterday. Very with that. exciting <laughs> with those grab bags because no. being in here and like cutting and running with this fabric and like, yes. yes. And those, those grab bags are going to be phenomenal. 
Um, ooh, ooh. Hmm. Pulling colors and playing with colors. I know. Like, <gasps> putting together, putting <gasps> those artifacts together. That's going to be big fun. Yeah, yes. I'm very excited. I can use my new label making and printing <laughs> scales to make labels to put on them too. Yeah, look at me go. That's very <laughs> exciting too. Because, I mean, seriously, with this many colors in here, to mm -hmm. be able to know, like, oh, I used that one color yeah. in here. Oh, what it was that what one that was I that? that? Yeah. Uh, would, I mean, that would be kind of the nice thing to be able to be like, mm -hmm. oh, I know it was that color and I really like that. Yes. Um, these colors. Oh, my goodness. They're so, so good. So good. So good. Okay, I gotta pull my half yards. Woo! Y'all! We've made it all the way through the quarter yards. All right, what else? Um, what is my favorite notion? Ooh, question. I have a very non sexy answer. This is very exotic. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. A really good scene rubber. <laughs> I know. If I'm going to have the scene rubber, I want it to be a good experience. Yeah. I get that. I do. And my green one is lost again, and all I have is a little white for me to was, I hate those! Oh, the ones that come with the machines? Yes, they're like, terrible. They I mean, they're not inherently bad, but the handle's bad. Yeah. The seam ripper's actually okay, it's the handle that's bad. Yeah. yeah. And so, my, I don't know where my little green one is right now. It, it got lost mm -hmm. again. Actually, you know what? I might know where it is. It might be over here. I guess so, it was over here yesterday. While you're looking for that, I think my favorite notion. Um, Oh. It's like a good rotary cutter. Like just switched out oh, rotary fresh blade. blade. Like oh, rotary fresh cutter. blade. Like yes. Cut fabric and cut fabric. Mm -hmm. well. Um, there's there's a lot of joy units in that for me. I mean, like this is this yeah, is yeah. Um, All right. Help coral creation. Sorry, I'm saying out loud because I'm auditory. <laughs> it's very annoying. No. That's not annoying at all. As long as it helps <sighs> remember things, that is, it's totally worth it. Yeah. Uh, what other rulers do I, or what other, what other do I love? Um, I my Aliso iron. Mm. I love my Aliso. Yeah. What about you, Marie? What is your, oh my gosh, Mitzi, that is the funniest thing in the world. Mitzi loves the Bernita Sea River. <laughs> I'm like, I oh, yeah. like, my favorite. This is yet again, every time one of these things comes up, I love to highlight this. This is why it's important to not take the word of any one other person as like law or like right versus wrong, right? Like to not view these things as a binary. Because something that makes me insane brings Mitzi joy units. Yeah. And that creates balance in the universe. Like that's a good thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it um, truly is. It's just like it's cheers with the city. Yep. Way. Holly Ann, she's talking with some folks from the city here in Duluth and trying to plan out some stuff. But I'd love to hear what you're working on. Right now, I'm actually working on a quilt along, and uh, Holly Ann showed off my work yesterday as the diatom um, quilt along with Quilting Jet Girl. If y'all haven't gone and checked that out, you should. Like this. This quilt is going to be beautiful. Um, so excited to see uh, all the blocks put together in a quilt. So let's see. Mitzi says, ooh, wait, hold on. We've got other folks up here saying their favorite notions. Um, 
Alisa says, I love my tulip pink rip snips. Yes, those are beautiful. I love like all the colorations in those too. Um, Mitzi says, when I first started sewing, the seam rippers were big and chunky. Um, she likes the smaller Bonina one too. Um, Jan says she's finishing up her Bonnie Hunter mystery quilt. Ooh, I bet that's pretty. Susan says you're doing the diatom. Oh, as well. Yay. I'm going to have to check that out and look for you, Susan. Um, Mitzi says I'm getting quilt tops out of the vault. Ooh, that's interesting. You have a quilt vault. <laughs> um, quilting and binding. Yes, that sounds awesome. Alicia says your block is awesome. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I loved how that pattern was rented up. Uh, written too. She does such a great job of like walking through all the steps for that. Um, so anybody else working on any other projects? Say so the other thing right now is I'm in the Free Motion Quilting Academy and I'm making bags out of all of my, my scrap or samples that I'm working on. And so that's a whole lot of fun too. Um, I've gotten like a couple free like toiletry bag patterns and they call for like quilted fabric. So what I'm doing now is putting, using those samples um, or kind of practice sandwiches and making bags, zipper bags out of them. Um, really fun. They don't have to be perfect because I know mine is like way not perfect. Some of the first like sandwiches I've ever um, actually quilted or free motion quilted. So as far as like toiletry bags go, like I'm not, they can get dirty, they can be used, they can wash, um, and then like, you know, move on to the next one. Um, so I've got several of those like happening right now um as well um gonna go grab another stack to fold give me just a minute and the piles of fabric keep growing and growing this is Let's see. Oh, fun. Y'all are awesome. Mitzi, that's, yes. Try out if you can find a good free pattern for the practice sandwich, like a toiletry bag. Those are great. Um, Marisa is starting my quilt for my bed. It's called a turkey tracks. Oh, that's fun. And your husband picked it out. That's great. Um, Jackie says, my mom asked me to make her a couple of scrub caps and some fancy, um, cake plates. Protector. Oh, cake protect plate protectors. Ooh, fun. Susan says, Holly Ann has a great blog. Oh, with zipper pouches. Oh, I have to look that one up too. Um, and that would be a great, I'm sure that free on her blog and everything too for like a zipper pouch. So another great way to use up those practice sandwiches. So otherwise here at String and Story, it sounds like I'm going to be folding fabric all day for the block of the month um kits and i have y'all i'm sure y'all have seen the look of her this um block of the month with the endangered species and holly Ann told me that it was coming back and i was so excited i've been keeping my eye on this block of the month since it originally came out um and i love 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 all the animals in this and so 
all of the colors in this are just beautiful. Um, like I said, getting to fold and help cut all of these kits, um, just the color combos that she's pulled for it are beautiful. So are any of y'all in the block of the month? Let's see. Bailey House One currently basting a couple of sam uh, simple baby quilts. Oh, fun. She's going to use her free motion quilting practice. And Alicia, I'm finally working on a quilt for my bed. Oh, the cave purple. Those are fun. Susan says, yep, and super easy to follow her directions. Oh, yeah, that's with the uh, Holly Ann's blog post about the zipper pouches. Um, Alicia says she's excited about the block of the month. Yes. Um, Valerie working on a t-shirt a quilt. Ooh, yes. I have four of them to do. Wow, that's a lot of t-shirt quilts. And I'm, I'm Holly and I'm sure has blog posts about all of the t-shirt quilts and stuff that she's made too. You're finishing, Karen, you're finishing your original block of the month. Which block of the month are you doing? Oh, so you just finished up the last block too. So was that last year's with all the flora and fauna or was this a different um, block of the month? Oh, it's your color builders of 2021, the animals. Oh, nice. Okay. Alicia says she also wants to make a t-shirt quilt. Yes, they're so much fun. Um, and the quilting on those, there's a vast thing or vast variety that you can do. So uh, ladies who are making the t-shirt quilt, like what's your favorite pattern to actually like quilt on your t-shirt quilts? Or anybody in general, what uh, anybody in the Free Motion Quilting Academy, what's your favorite motif so far? Or a new favorite, or one that you had never tried before and it was like your surprise kind of like uh, motif that you really liked. I have to say the one I have to work on the most is my pebbles. My pebbles have been awful, but practice makes progress. I'm only starting out, so I know it will come in time, but that's gonna be the motif I'm gonna work on the most. Like I've enjoyed, I was surprised with meanders, like, working out and like figuring out how to do a good meander. Um, I know it's going to be practice continuous with that, but um, was kind of surprised how much I did like a meander, um, which is one I didn't think I would be too big of a fan of, but I definitely see where it is very useful within free motion quilting and filling in those spaces. I'll let y'all finish answering that question. I'm going to grab more fabric to fold. Like I said, we'll be folding fabrics all day here. Let's see. Bailey House One says she loves the swirls. Oh, 
but think square squirrel uh, swirls have a lot of potential for an all over fill. Ooh, I like that idea. Marie says, I found a new one that I like. It's a leafy meander. Ooh, I want to, I'm going to have to look that one up. A leafy meander might be really fun with some quilts that I have in my, my quilt vault. I like that. <laughs> So what are some state parks y'all have been to and have enjoyed going to or national parks or other things like that? Like what's your favorite like outdoor space? In this cold, icky weather, I'm definitely looking forward to springtime and summer of like getting out to hikes and kayaking and stuff like that and so love to to hear everybody's place they like to go i'm always always in the lookout for a new like hike or like new place to go and explore I'm back. You're back. Are you all here? We're here. <laughs> Hanging out. Yeah. What's going on? Let's see. Color builders. T-shirt quilt. Ooh, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. I'm talking about for, uh, like things we're working on. I just asked it what like everybody's favorite place was. Like their mm -hmm. outside. Place Ooh, their favorite place. outside place. Ooh, let's because see. I knew we were talking about hikes earlier. Um, uh, Pikachu Peak State Park in Southern Arizona. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Northwest Ohio, right by the Maumee River and Lake Erie. Oh my gosh, Susan, that sounds amazing. I love it. To that area yet. That would be really cool. Yay, block of the month. Oh, and Alicia, you're working on your purple cave quilt. Yes. I know. I was kind of excited to see like what, what purple cave are you using? Hang on. I'm gonna find that exciting. zippy pouch blog that you mentioned, Susan, because oh, I've yeah, got it handy. We, I was talking about the um Practice sandwiches for free motion quilting. Again. Yes, and turning them into these. Yes. Absolutely. Um, I don't. Just, there we oh, go. Yes, Darcy Here's has one of hers up. Hi. I don't know if y'all have seen this, but this oh, yeah, that's the boxing. The one that's under there. Having my Annie is one, and then is this Hi. one yours? Yes, and that's the tutorial. Is that oh, this perfect little? Yeah. Hello? Can y'all see that? It's this great, ooh, great zipper on there too. Um. And this is like it's a, a good little makeup bag kind of situation. Yes, yeah, swirly mm -hmm. meander on this. Oh, that's super cute. And that so was just um, used, like the same pouchy kind of or the mm -hmm. same. It that literally was like a yeah. um, like a, it was a table runner that I quilted, and then oh. we were making those. And I was like, oh, I could skip some steps and do it this way. Yes, yeah, yeah I like this. It's out of liner. Yep. And you use like just one of your panel scraps, it looks yeah. like too. So, so anything that you quilted that's, um, yeah, that needs a job. And then that's, this is a great one to like start out with if you never put a zipper in a bag before. Yes, it's This so gives easy. you the basics and like lets you jump from this to this. Yeah, this is that's pattern by Annie and yeah. like this is multiple parts and 
even though it is a great way Ooh. to like learn her patterns. Yes. Um, she yes. goes through like the techniques of how she mm -hmm. binds stuff. So there's no raw edges with it. It looks bag. so nice inside. It does. Oh, um, so I don't know if y'all can really but see yeah, that. Get up closer. Show them up close. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, but this is all like bound edge and everything all through the inside of it. So really, really pretty, really nice. Um, great little bag too. Um, Tilda, have you seen her free boxy bag? Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. Is it good? It is good. It, I was putting a couple together and I actually yeah. brought one today. Oh, I'm going to have to go yeah. pull that and find that. But um, kind of does the biani binding piece like inside so there's no raw edges um but there's not multiple pieces so it's like a fat quarter that you trim down and you cut little sections out of it which then those become like your points at your edges oh. and then you just bind that so i'm using like a my bag of scrap binding yeah that like, i'm sure everybody has yes. Um, yes. So I'm working through that and I'm using up my sample sandwiches to like clean out yes. and go through all of that. Um, let me go grab that real quick. Yeah, I want to see that. Also, I'm realizing that I didn't cut that. I didn't cut four yards of gray, uh -oh. which is absolutely devastating to learn. Yeah, because that's the only color, isn't it, that you didn't cut gray? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Sad trombone. Oh, well, we'll get there. Okay, let's see um port angeles yes olympic national forest oh my gosh i want to go so bad and you're going to the grand canyon rocky mountain park yes meander on t-shirts i love that oh yeah and also what your favorite um quilting pattern is for t-shirts yes i'm a i'm a loopy meander girl for a t-shirt quilt yep yeah i'm a big fan of that okay so this is the oh that's cute shirt. And like I used a couple different threads on this sample pal um, sandwich. Like, oh, check out my pebbles. Oh, look at those. Th those will need some work, but they're not bad. But matching thread, it's like whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at your binding. I recognize that fabric. Uh huh. Just a little bit. Yeah, I was like, bit. I have, I have a scrap of that. So it's just like binding off. Hold on, let's get that closer. Like binding off the edges here, and that's all the binding pieces. Um, I do want to figure out a way to throw like a binding piece in there to Ooh, like cover, that, cover up. that up. Yeah, I'm playing with that next. But I like that. Just for like a sample. Yeah, because if you put one edge in and then you just take a second stitch to catch it. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's why I, I say that like it would be straightforward, but I, I'm sure in actual I'm, application it would be more challenging. Well, wavelength wise, I'm there with you. Yeah. So that was like, like your machine binding, yeah, the edges together, but then that body uh -huh. needs like flip it over and uh -huh. flat, yeah, and then just top stitch it, yeah, is where my uh, my mind goes, yeah, and just kind of cover that up, but not bad for a little. Oh, I love that. I like the zipper too. That's a cute zipper. Yes, Amazon's super cheap oh. and like it's got like a good little ring on it. It's the ring. Yeah, I love a good so, ring. And um, I didn't, they, this one actually calls for like little tabs here to be rings. And I was oh. like, but I have, I a, have a zipper with the ring on it. Yeah. And so Cute. Fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Have you played show and tell with your block yet? That's the other thing. Um, we like. talked about like what projects we're working on. And uh -huh. I talked about um, the diatom. <gasps> cool. Did you show them your block yet? Some of them have seen it. I've gotten some who's in Oz, but it's really good. This is it. Oh, it's so and good. It's, it's big. So this is 24 inches uh, for those. I love how big it. That makes those curves feel less intimidating. Yes. Because when I saw the design with the curves, I was like, eee! she does. But she they're does. nice and big. Yeah. There are like six inch. I'm yeah. not done that big of a curved piece. I haven't yet. done a curved piece yet. So you're in well, confessions on YouTube. Y'all know I'm always going to make a confession when we're live. That always happens. <laughs> oh, I'm like, girl. Nah. Well, I mean, in all honesty, curved piecing can be very intimidating. Yeah. 
I just also have not but, had a true like knee. I haven't had. I've been able to avoid it. You know, like it hasn't been unavoidable yet. The good thing with her piecing though, and you don't get with some other like there's some trim down there, and as long yeah. as you know how to trim and like square up a block like, like that. In that, like you can do perfect. That, believe you me, those curves are not <laughs> like they're not. The they look amazing. I ever. love them. Um, but see, that's the thing you can't tell at all. Like as as yeah. my mother-in-law says, and I love this thing from a galloping horse. Exactly. Don't worry about it. Don't don't even fret over it. It's not necessary. I love that. You're getting more easy knowledge with your block. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Aww. It's such a pretty, pretty fabric too. It's that fableism woven, Aww. the trellis woven. And, and then the arcade. sprout for the background. Like, I love the sprout for the background. Yeah, I gotta hold um, this up closer. Cause y'all look at this. Oh, it is, it's all sprout. It's all the yeah, woven. It's all the woven. Uh, um, it just has those little bits of texture to it. I thought this was the paintbrush at first. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's, oh, it's so good. It's the obsidian sprout woven. And when love. I saw that one, and love. I, I don't know why, but I do love a good mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. dark, deep mm -hmm. color in the quilt. Um, right, the mock-up that you were looking at over by checkout. The, yes, um, with the alternate colorway we did with the dark backgrounds. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, okay, this one has a white background, fine, I guess, but um, the alternate colorway is gonna need to have a dark background if I'm making it. Yes. Because <laughs> I love a good dark background. Yes. Love that. Well, and like dark is is such an interesting thing because mm -hmm. you could pull in a deep blue mm -hmm. that's darker than black. Yes. And yes. it changes everything. The color. Everything. Like, or like just a really deep red or something like that mm -hmm. that you normally wouldn't think of, but it's such we, a pretty we like pulled dark this blackberry that like really like oh, here I'll show y'all. I love that blackberry. This and is I, I I'm not y'all know I'm not even a purple person, but this blackberry color that's with like the sun on it. But you can see how dark it reads. Yeah. Mm. It is. Yeah. Yep. I'm excited. <laughs> and so that's, that's gonna be pretty that dark yeah. like term for it. It could be so many different colors. It doesn't have to be just like a black. Yes. It can be like that color mm -hmm. or or coffee mm -hmm. or iron or any of these other Ooh, really nice like darks. The the huntsman green like that oh, color. Yeah, woodsman. The woodsman. That oh, it's such a good green. I love I really want to do a two-tone quilt mm -hmm. out of that and pull like another color into that one because uh -huh. I'm, I'm a green girl I she is a green girl mm -hmm. um the so lord help her if it's sitting next to black or blue she's not gonna tell you what color it is <laughs> that was the other conversation this morning <laughs> do any of y'all have an issue with that like do any of you we're like a, a like really dark navy and like a yellowy green could either read blue and green or yellow and black yeah kind of depending on the light the moment your eyeballs your friend's eyeballs like yes I, I feel like I shouldn't be alone in this, but no, sometimes I do not I'm like, I feel crazy because I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not that. That's this color. Right. Like, in my head, that's, you know, and I will say like a very specific color. Um, and people are looking at me like, I have just grown a third head, sprouted a, a third head. Where's your second one? <laughs> Sorry, the second head. <laughs> I'm sassy oh, today, apparently. No, None of us are surprised, right? Oh, oh my gosh. That's, that's good stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's hard sometimes to like pull those because there's so many different yeah. colors in just one particular color. And how you what you put a color next to and what it reflects. Like this is a very sandy color, but I put something just right next to it. It's gonna look very green. Yeah. Like, cause it just is gonna depend on what it's next to. It's funny. Colors. Oh, that's what makes color hard. <laughs> yes. And it, it also the makes dog is right here. That's why I'm doing that. Do you like, see her like stretched yeah. out on the back Yeah. Too. She's so. like, you're not gonna step on my nose. No. And I'm she like, I you. might. She trusts you oh so much. She, like, she trusts me too much. She gets stepped on regularly. It's very unfortunate. I try very hard not to. 
She seems to be unbothered. She's completely unbothered. She could not give fewer spoons. <laughs> she really could not. All right. Oh my gosh, it's almost opening time. My dear rock stars, thank you for being here with us. I was checking the comments. We are going to sign off and call it a day, but we're going to keep working on your kits. All of you who have joined the Color Builders Block of the Month, thank you so much. If you're interested in learning more about it, there is a link down in the caption of this video, as well as links over to other resources on our website, such as the blogs I've been working on. Um, if you've enjoyed this time together, please make sure you hit like on this video and hit subscribe to our channel. I am live every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern uh, doing stuff like this, hanging out, chatting, uh, coming up with, you know, crazy things. And I would love for you to join us. So I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.